Religion is a very important thing in one's life. Every individual is free to choose their own religion. There are roughly 4200 religions in the world, but mainly there are four. They are Islam, Christianity, Hinduism and Buddhism. This video will present to you the comparison between Christianity and Hinduism. So let's begin this video. The main difference between Christianity and Hinduism is that Christians believe in one God in three forms and Hindus believe in thousands of God. In Hinduism, there are total 300 million God and Goddesses. Christians believe in one God but in three divine forms, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. These three together are known as the Holy Trinity. In Hinduism, the most powerful God is Trimurti, which consists of three Gods. They are Brahma, Vishnu and Shiv. According to Hinduism, God Brahma created the earth and he is known as the generator. While God Vishnu looks after the earth and its people and therefore he is known as the maintainer. And Lord Shiva destroys the earth when he is angry and when people sin and therefore he is known as the destroyer. There are total 15 nations that believe in Christianity. Some of them are Argentina, USA, UK and many more. In the world, there are 2.2 billion people who believe in Christianity. Even though Hindus lie on every continent, but roughly there are three countries that believe in Hinduism. In the world, there are 1.2 billion people who believe in Hinduism. The most worshipped god in Hinduism is the Trimurti, which consists of Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh. And in Christianity, people only worship Jesus Christ. Christians also pray to Mother Mary, who is the mother of Jesus Christ. The most favorite god in Hinduism is Lord Shiva and his son Lord Ganesh. Worshipping goddesses in Hinduism is called Shaktism. Even though there are thousands of goddesses that are worshipped every year, but the main three are Goddess Lakshmi, Goddess Saraswati and Goddess Durga. Goddess Lakshmi is known for wealth and that's why in every Hindu house you would find a portrait of her. Goddess Durga is known for strength and she protects her devotees from every evil thing and she had also defeated the demon king called Mahishasura. Goddess Saraswati is known for art, music, wisdom and knowledge and she is commonly worshipped by students. But in Christianity there is no goddess but Mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, is worshipped as a goddess. Mary was just a normal lady living in Israel and due to her positive work, God chose her as the Queen of Heaven and conceived Jesus in her womb to bring his son to the earth. Mother Mary's crowning is very beautifully depicted. In Hinduism, Sati, the daughter of Prajapati Daksh, who killed herself by jumping into fire. As she had married Lord Shiva without her father's permission and against his wish. While Parvati, the rebirth of Sati, who was the daughter of the mountain king Himavan, Parvati is the most divine goddess in Hinduism. The most powerful goddess in Hinduism is Goddess Durga, which is an avatar of Parvati. 
when the male gods themselves could not handle some demons who were very powerful they would call madurga they would give her all their weapons and therefore she had all the gods combined power she is depicting having 10 hands and slaying all the demons she has also killed the most powerful demon king mahishasur ma durga is also called mahishasur mardini as she killed mahishasur king as we know that the length of navratri is 9 days and on those 9 days all the 9 avatars of ma durga is worshiped even though ma durga is the most powerful goddess in hinduism but there is one avatar of parvati which is beyond all creations of nature that one powerful avatar of parvati is known as mahakali mahakali is the most fierce goddess in hinduism and she is associated with time death and power mahakali is the most powerful avatar of parvati she has also defeated a very powerful demon called rakta beech goddess kali is also a member of the 10 mahavidyas of parvati once mahakali's anger is to the fullest then no one could ever stop her the only one who is capable of stopping her is her husband lord shiva So this completes this video. I hope you learned something from this and if you did please hit the like button to like this video and press the bell icon to get notifications from this channel. Thank you for watching.